Well, good afternoon, or actually kind of late evening. This is Pastor Hayton and the Lower Lights Devotional. Been kind of a long day today, and I'm just now getting around to doing my devotional. But I did want to share with you as we continue on with tidbits from the life of my father, A.L. Hayton. Now, I don't remember him talking too much about the early days of pastoral ministry. Of course, after he took a wife, which we looked at yesterday, started a family. Uh, somehow or another, we ended up, when I was a small boy, in Lansing, Michigan. Dad tells about pastoring a storefront church up in Lansing, and uh, my brother Richard had been born. I came along, I was two years old, and my brother Bill uh, was just a very infant when we moved up to Lansing, and he probably doesn't remember too much about those days, as I don't either. But anyway, my brother Bill, and I was thinking about this incident, I've heard my dad tell it many times, like I say, I was so privileged to grow up under his ministry and, and hear these incidents that uh, show us just how uh, good it is to live for God and all the blessings and the benefits that we get from that. But uh, this story that I'm about to tell might be a little hard to believe. If you really don't believe that our God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can even think or ask, you may not even believe this story. But I have complete confidence in my father. I believe in his integrity. I don't think that he would relate an incident that wasn't true. I don't think for any reason would he embellish anything just to show or to prove his faith or uh, to make it interesting. I believe that it happened just as he tells it and just as I'm about to tell it. I believe that we have a God that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can even think or ask. But he tells about the time that my brother, he was born prematurely, struggled a lot in his early infanthood uh, physically, and he was on a special formula. And this special formula, you couldn't find it just anywhere. And one evening, my mother ran out of formula for Bill. Well, my dad, he hit the streets of Lansing in search of a drugstore or a market that might be open that might have this baby formula. He went to several different places and they said, no, we don't carry that brand. Sorry, we don't carry that brand. I'm sorry, we don't carry that brand. Well, he was about to begin to despair when he just prayed a simple prayer of faith. Lord, my son needs this, this formula. He needs it this evening. So he found another little market that was open, went in and told the guy what he was looking for. The gentleman said, I'm sorry, we don't handle that brand. Fact is, we've never handled that brand of formula. My dad looked up behind him on a shelf, and he said, well, there's a can sitting right there. The merchant turned around and looked, and sure enough, there was a can of the very formula that my father was looking for. The, the merchant was so, uh, so puzzled. He said, I don't know how in the world that ever got there. He said, I'd never carry this brand of formula, and I just don't know how that formula got there. Well, like I can say, sounds like a far-fetched story, doesn't it? But we do have a great God that's concerned, and I just believe that my dad was a man of great faith, and... I'm so glad that uh, he instilled that faith in me. I don't know that I could have faith to pray a can of formula or a can of anything on a merchant shelf, shelf, but I believe my dad did. And you know, if I heard him tell that story, it's convinced me that God can do anything. So I'm glad that I was uh, taught that he can do exceeding abundantly above all that we can even think or ask. Yes, I'm glad for that story, and I believe it with all of my heart. And if you believe that there's an all-powerful God that can do anything and everything, then you've got to believe it as well. Heavenly Father, thank you for those stories that stick in our mind to show us just how great our God is and how concerned he is about the needs that we have. Thank you, Lord, for the memories that we have stored in our heart of a man that taught us so much 
and had such a tremendous impact and influence upon her life. Now bless us, keep us throughout the weekend. Help us, Lord, to love and to serve thee, we ask in Christ's name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting me share that, and I'll see you Monday here on the Lord Likes Devotion with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.